All right, I'm going to demonstrate cooking in the pipe oven of my lovely Winterwell stove setup by making the world's smallest roast for you today. So check out this setup. It's really sweet. I've got this small stove that collapses in on itself. These nice warming shelves fold in, the legs collapse, and most of the chimney pieces fit into the, the stove box itself. And then an additional choice is this lovely pipe oven. These handles make it easier to touch even when it's really hot because they've got air in the middle so they don't get as hot. Still good to have a pot holder or something on hand. But as you can see, the temperature is at 450 on this right now. So it does an amazing job. And then the sweet thing is that this also is giving an opportunity to harvest more of the heat out of the smoke that is leaving the tent. So you get more bang for your buck in terms of your firewood and you have less issues with hot sparks coming out your chimney. Of course, I've got a spark arrestor on the chimney too for safety's sake, but super sweet. I'm a huge bird lover and California quail are some of my favorites. They are so beautiful and we have a ton of them around here. So they are constant companions in this place. My favorite thermos is a testament to my love for the quail. But I was out driving the other day and a male quail ran right between my tires. There was nothing I could do by the time I hit the brakes. He was already creamed, but I wanted to make use of him. So of course I took him home, cleaned him and got him ready to cook up. The pipe oven's really small, so it can be a challenge finding the right size baking dishes for it. But this was just one that came with cornbread from Whole Foods. So perfect fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put together my little delectable meal. Greasing the pan with a nice bit of butter and I'll just put that on top of the wood stove itself to heat up and melt and it's real hot. It's a good idea when you're cooking in a wood stove to be using small wood so that you can really regulate the temperature a lot. If you put a big old, this isn't actually that big, but it's maple, so it's hot. So if you put a big piece of hardwood in there, it's gonna get so hot so fast, it's likely to overcook your food. So it's actually better to use softwoods and smaller pieces. What I'm actually using is pallet wood, which is a byproduct of the shipping industry. And we were able to get a bunch of this wood for relatively inexpensive. So you can put in just a little bit at a time and you're not gonna completely blast your food or yourself in a small space. All right, butter nice and sizzly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the vegetables. I've got a zucchini that came from the store and then some carrots and onions from our own garden. I'm gonna put that on the butter. It's already salted and peppered. Lay that on the bottom of my roasting pan. All like that. And then I have my lovely wee quail. The breast is so sweet and tiny. So I'm just gonna lay that on top of the vegetables, kinda nestle it in. And then of course I've got the legs as well. And the one wee wing that survived the tires. And then I have its tiny little heart, which I'm gonna put in a corner so I don't lose. And then quail being wild game is quite lean. So a nice healthy slab of butter on top. And then I'll put a little bit on those legs as well. And I neglected to bring a hot pad in with me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull off my sock, which is all wool and boom, got a good hot pad. <laughs> Ingenuity goes a long way. All right, so the temperature right now is about 450 on the oven, which is a little on the spicy side for sure, but it's gonna cool down pretty quick because again, I'm using small wood and when I open it, some of that hot air is gonna come rushing out. I wanna be careful to hold the middle of the handle here. It's still pretty hot, so just use caution and a hot pad. All right, into the oven. There are two levels to the oven you can see here and I have an additional pan, which I use often to bake biscuits in, but that will be another video. The butter is melting already, and you can see the temperature is already down at around 400. So I'm gonna try to regulate this with the wood to keep it right around 375 to 400. And now I'm gonna set a timer and pay attention because it's gonna cook pretty fast. These stoves also come with a combination poker and tray puller and ash sweeper, so nice little tool. All right, 
Now I'm gonna check it in 12 minutes. I did go and get an actual felted hot pad and we are at the 12 minute mark, so let's check it out. Ooh, yeah. Looking beautiful. Definitely it's sizzling pretty good. So I'm gonna put it here and pierce the breast to see. Yeah, I would call that done through. No more pink in the breast there. And the veggies look nicely cooked through, but not overcooked, so not too soft. All right, ready for some wee salty buttery perfection. Mm, really good. Really weensy, but really good. Here's the best part, the teensy little quail heart. Mm. Essence of quail. And the entire quail roast. Mm. Perfectly cooked, folks. Very nice. And then I can leave my bowl on the warming tray. Probably best not to do that with a wooden bowl, but the warming tray option here, really sweet to keep your food warm, but not actively cooking. Really nice setup. You can find all of the parts to these stoves, including the fireproof mat I have it set on at winterwell.com. Winterwell stoves, again, this is the medium nomad. They also have one that has it's called the Nomad View that's got glass all along one side as well as in the door so that you really get a lot of light out of it. And all of the components come separate. So the chimney comes with, but the elbows to go through the gasket, the double wall, the oven, and then the slick little water heater all come separate. I'm really thrilled to be an affiliate for Winterwell Stove. So use the code WONIA, W-O-N-I-Y-A, to get a 10% discount on any of their stoves. And also at Spring Bar, the tents made to go with these stoves. You can put them in any tent and vice versa, but also use my name, W-O-N-I-Y-A, for a discount 10% on any of Spring Bar's tents or other products. Thanks so much, you guys. Really excited to finally get this set up and have a good snowstorm to enjoy cooking on the wood stove in.